Hi, Dr. Bradshaw here. Now listen, functional medicine patients, we're going to be working on a muscle that plays a massive role with low back pain, with hip pain, with sciatica, which is, you know, that nerve pain going down the back of the leg. <clears throat> it's called the gluteus maximus and piriformis muscles. And they, when we sit, are being smashed all the time. Every time we sit down, we put pressure right onto those muscles. So they get compressed. And if we do a lot of sitting, day after week, after month, after year, those muscles get more compressed, more compressed, and more compressed. And the more compressed they get, the less blood flow you get going through them, and they become stiff, stagnant, and tight. Now we have to stretch those back out, okay? And it's gonna take us being really consistent with this at least a few weeks to get this to loosen up. For those of you who have bursitis in the hip, you've got um, sciatica that's pretty consistent going down the back of the leg. You have tendinitis going down the outside of the hip towards the knee. These are all playing a role or a uh, uh, result of the glutes and the piriformis being too tight and playing a role in those. So here's how you're gonna stretch it out. You're gonna need possibly a pillow, but at the very least, you're going to need your bed. Imagine this is your bed at home, okay? You're going to take, it's this leg that's tight, that right buttock. And by the way, the muscles we're talking about, they run from the tailbone and the hip, uh, top of the hip, out laterally to a point down in the triangle out here to the outer hip socket. But they start back here, kind of at the midline, and go down to the side. You have one over here that goes this way as well. So to stretch this one on the right, we're going to get onto our bed so that we can get our knee, shin, and ankle flat on the side of the bed. Okay? Move this chair over just a little bit more so you can see it better. There we go. So you're gonna place that all so it's flat on the bed like this. Okay? Now, for some of you, your knee or your hip won't allow you to rotate like that. So you're gonna put a pillow onto your bed underneath your knee to give it some support. So when you're in this position, you're able to do it. If you need to put two pillows underneath here, put two pillows, that's fine. The other leg is gonna be back behind you, so you can lean forward onto this leg, like this. All right, if you wanna see it from the side, it would look like this. <clears throat> leg up, pillow under the knee if need be, so that you're up on the side, here's the edge of your mattress right here, your leg is up on here, the other leg is back on the floor, and you're gonna lean forward this direction over your knee. And you're gonna feel that directly in the buttock, right here. The sciatic nerve runs underneath that muscle and goes down the leg. So when this muscle gets tight, you'll get trapping of that nerve. We've gotta stretch this out. So in this position, you're going to stay in this for a count of 10, taking deep breaths up to nine, 10, you're gonna come out of it. If one of your legs is bothersome, the other one is not, I still want you to go do the other leg. So do that for a count of 10. Come back to the problematic leg. Do that again for a count of 10. Do that good leg again for a count of 10. Go back and do the bad leg again for one more count of 10. And that's one cycle. I want you to do it at three cycles a day. If you sit a lot at work, whether you're at home or at the office, you need to be doing this possibly once every couple of hours. Set a timer, set a timer on your phone, that timer goes off every hour or two. Get up, you don't have to do it on the side of your bed. You can do it on the floor. So if you don't have that ability due to being at work, you can literally just get right onto the floor your leg down, put the leg back, and lean over that leg this way. Looking at it from the front way, front view, coming at you. <clears throat> Get that knee to shin to foot. Oops, can't see that. Just like that on the floor. And you're gonna lean forward over your leg like that. But the knee, and again, you can put a pillow underneath here if you need to, but you can do this right on the floor at home or at the office, get that muscle stretched out. For those of you who don't want to get on the floor at the office, I understand, 
Another decent way, it's not a great way, but it's a pretty good way, is to take the ankle up onto the knee. If this is the tight leg side, put this leg, ankle up onto your knee. You're gonna lean into this knee and push down as you bend forward like this. So it looks like this. Pushing down, leaning forward over your knee. And you'll still feel a good stretch on that muscle over here on the right side. That is a great stretch. Do it as often as you need to. If you have these issues, it may take several weeks to finally get this to let go. So chiropractic, acupuncture, massage, and body work will also be helpful to help this process along, but you need to be stretching it too. All right, enjoy.